Hey, hey, Mark Rodriguez here. I'm back to Steel City Con. It's been a couple of years since I've been here. This is, uh, yeah, the August edition of Steel City Con is actually, I think, three times a year. And you can check it out. There's a lot of people here. Lots of cool things, lots of cool um, cosplays and stuff. And we're here to meet uh, Kelly Hu. We got other celebrities also, like uh, George Takei is here. Uh, Ron Perlman is here. Um, X Pack is here. The Honky Tonk Man is here. Lots of celebrities here and there. So uh, yeah, let's go check it out. Oh, some of these guys even come with their instruction books still. Like jeez. Hey, you can get all kinds of cool old stuff here. Oh god, so that's that's liquid nitrogen or what's that called? That is liquid nitrogen. Oh wow. And we just made mint ice cream. We're gonna add Yep, and this is uh, Zub Zero Delicious and Science. And uh, where are you guys located to kind of recommend your business? Altoona, and... Pennsylvania, Shadyside, um, and Claire. Right, there you go, guys. Check it out. Very good ice cream. Has a very uh, natural flavor. I actually tried this before, like a couple years ago. So, you know. You got all the flavors and stuff over there, including the uh, mysterious tiger blood <laughs> flavor. Oh, man. There we go. So, yes, yeah, so it's in Altoona and Shadyside and, well, several parts. Is it all only in Pennsylvania? No. No, we were on Shark Tank a few years ago, and now we're all over the United States and even in Abu Dhabi and China. In Abu Dhabi. Oh, wow. Okay, so you guys are spreading. You know, actors, and so it was fun to develop. And again. please welcome <laughs> Kelly here, right this way, Kelly. Kelly. And Sean on his way too. Hey, Kelly. 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 Hey, Okay, I was I was in the green room having a drink. Just a green room? Not well. Yeah. Paige. Hi Tom. Hi Tom. Hi Tom. They're having a private conversation. <laughs> you guys sit here. And... But Sean and I will be happy to talk to you. <laughs> Um, so I was wondering, for all of you guys uh, working in low-budget filmmaking, filmmaking has gotten easier and easier with technology, but is there any advice you can give for people who want to make like a no-budget, low-budget film with a lot of effects and gore and all kinds of stuff? Is there anything that you can kind of hone in on? Yeah, go do it. Just go do it. Now, I would just add to that, don't quit your day job. <laughs> But there's so much information out there. You want to learn the facts, just Google it and it's there. A million ways to do something. You know, uh, there's some great books on filmmaking out there. I mean, you, there's so much information. I but, always say go to YouTube. YouTube, you can, you can learn anything on YouTube. I call it YouTube University. And um, yeah, editing and, and effects makeup, I mean, all of that stuff. You can learn everything on YouTube. And you can it's shoot amazing. it on your cell phone these days. Yeah, the quality of phones and, and stuff. And everybody's got editing equipment at home now. If you've got a computer, you can edit a film together. It's amazing what you can do. Question right here. Hi, Kelly. Hi. Quick question. I'm seeing you like on Arrow and some of the TV things. Do you have anything new that you're going to be working on on TV soon? She's working on a YouTube. <laughs> YouTube University, yeah. I'm getting my degree. <laughs> YouTube University. Um, you know, I, I, I have a film that I'm going to be doing next month in Hawaii. I get to go home, which is awesome. Um, my, my parents, uh, 
my mom was born and raised in Hawaii. I was, I'm born and raised in Hawaii. And my mom just moved uh, to Vegas, <laughs> of all places, from Hawaii. So I feel like I have no roots in Hawaii anymore. So for me to be able to go home and, and do a film, it's like, it's awesome. I like how you say Hawaii. Yeah. It's how it's supposed if to you're be. you're Hawaiian. And, and you guys know that my name is actually Hawaii. Yes, I knew that. I was going to say that yesterday. Yeah. Kande. Yes, that that's what my name really is. You know that's what you know what it means. Man, it yes. means man. So yeah. Man hotter. So when you go to Hawaii, you see the men's room. It's it has my name on it. <laughs> <laughs> Don't be afraid. Don't be afraid. Uh, there's King's office. <laughs> wait, wait. I want to. What's the best thing of working on of all three? Uh, well, it wasn't the kiss, <laughs> but um, uh, Shanghai Kiss was awesome because because I think it might have been. Well, it was the first time that I think I really got to work in in China, and um, and it was a really crazy experience because there's no such thing as unions in China, and so their uh, their work ethic is unbelievable. I mean, they will shoot like 24 hours. People will be literally just falling asleep on set and then waking up and like continuing to do their work. They, they just, they, it's, it's non-stop. Not that that's a good thing because, you know, you don't necessarily get the best work out of people when they're that exhausted. But it was just amazing to see their work ethic. Plus, plus there's no such thing as unions, so everybody sort of pitches in doing everybody else's job as well. So, so you see like actors, you know, moving lights and carrying things around like up the stairs and you know, um, they're, one of my, uh, in my contract it says that I have to have my own dressing room with a bathroom. And so what they did was they built this sort of shelter looking thing in the back of a pickup truck and they put <laughs> one of those camping toilets in there. And that also doubled as the broom closet and everybody else's um, makeup trailer and where all the drivers slept. And I mean, it was basically like a community room because they were like, why does she get her own room? You know, because it, it, that doesn't exist in communism, I guess. But, um, but yeah, so that was a, an amazing experience, just shooting it there um, when, when, when the, the, in the, the film industry there was sort of very new and, and, and nobody, no American projects were really shooting there. We were one of the first. Wow. Yeah. That's incredible. Most difficult thing about uh, part one, Friday the 13th? Yeah. yeah. What was Most difficult thing? Mean, just getting it made. Like, the accident? Kevin Bacon, that was pretty complicated. How did Kevin Bacon yeah. okay. That was kind of complicated. How did he die? He got the arrow uh, yeah. from the back of his head through his neck. Oh, that's and right. What's interesting is uh, uh, I, I pushed the arrow through his neck, and my assistant was pumping the blood. And the tube came off the blood pump. So he grabbed it and blew it. And that's what caused the beautiful gurgling that happened with his death. So oh, happy Jesus. <laughs> And, and I, I don't think I ever asked you this. How, where was his body compared to the prosthetic neck? He was kneeling under the bed like this. His head was on the fake body. Oh, wow. I was able to like, you know, like that. It, it was such a good effect, especially 1980, right? Was it 80 or 79? That you shot it? Yeah. There was, um, Tom, when Tom, uh, Tom and I first met, we talked about the ambitions for uh, the special effects. He thought that he wanted to show somebody's head getting chopped off, but apparently lied. Because it hadn't been done. At least, at least that's, that's, uh, that's was the impression. And so, in the writing of it, we were writing not just the story, but the storyboards. And, and Tom and Taslo and Steve and, and you and I were trying to, all right, shoot here, we could do that, and then we could come to the sweater rig with the, with the, uh, the blood coming out of it. And, and um, it worked seamlessly. And today, um, it's, you know, it's just like something you take for granted. Oh, yeah, it's just a special effect. But, in 1979, it hadn't been done. And when people saw that, they went, 
homework, it was, you know, we, it was the magic trick, you know, taken to the ultimate level. And it really also helped set up the end because that was such a big deal. And now the killer was dead, so the movie's got to be over, you know. And that's, yeah, we, that we, was how yeah, it, We talked about that before you came in about how we, I had just seen Carrie. We thought the movie was over when the hand comes out of the grave. Right. So we said we should have a chip jumper like that. Yeah. yeah. And uh, and it was a dream, and people accept dreams. Uh, in the fact, we talked about a TV series, Dollars for Jr., where a whole season right. was a dream. You know, yeah. Right. People accept it. Nice right, hello, guys. So thanks for being here. And just a quick question. It's a little off topic, but I don't know when I'll get to ask this to Kelly in any other opportunity. Do um, you have any interesting experiences when you're working on uh, X Men Two and also doing the Voice of Karai from the Turtles? Um, oh gosh, Karai, Karai was really fun because I got to be in the booth with a bunch of other actors, which I don't always do. Uh, when I was doing Phineas and Ferb, for instance, I was always in there by myself. But it's so much more fun when you get to, to, to be in a room full of other actors, and voiceover actors are nuts. They really are, like, crazy. I mean, they're... Uh, when 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 they when the recording goes off, they are off in their own world, doing a thousand different other people inside them, and it's just yeah, you you, you kind of wonder sometimes about the sanity of voice actors. Um, and then and then X two, um, yeah, a lot of special effects, a lot of like real stuff too, but also a lot of CGI. Like you know, he was saying there's. We, there, there was a lot of stuff that they actually built in that fight scene that, um, that, was, that was real. And, um, but the claws, uh, mostly they were CGI because I couldn't fight and move around with those real claws. You can't, you can't really do anything once those, those practicals are, are glued onto your fingernails. You can't even go to the bathroom. That's, yeah, you can't eat, you can't open the door to your trailer, you become trapped in your room. But uh, yeah, it, I was not underwater for three hours, so I have nothing to complain about, really. But uh, but yeah, yeah, it, you know, CGI just makes everything easy for everyone. Alright guys, we wrapped it up here for the Steel City Con. We had some fun here. Um, the bag of goodies is now officially full with a bunch of stuff here and there. I'll show them off later. And we got the uh, Ghostbusters car behind me with the Stay Puft Marshmallow Man and people with, uh, you know, the Ghostbusters uniforms. But I'm going to wrap it up before YouTube gets me with all the movie music. But uh, there we go guys. See you next time for Steel City Con and anything else. Take care. <laughs>